there guys and welcome back for another video hope you guys had a great Christmas I did I just got back yesterday from Mississippi which is about 11 hour drive so I've got about a a day and a half of growth here because it's about I don't know somewhere around noon I'm not even sure what time it is maybe 11 so about a day and a half growth I had to shave this last night when I got home because it just irritated the heck out of me but one thing I wanted to point out to you guys I've always said the Thayer's Witch Hazel. It's magic because it's made by witches. And I want to show you why. See that spot right there? That's the condition that I have. Now, while I was traveling for eight days, I didn't take my Thayer's with me. And that is the result. I used to have to use this um, Protopic. Very expensive cream. But since I started using Thayer's, no need for it. So. I'm going to be back on the Thayer's program in about uh, about a week of using it. That will go away. All right. For the cream, this is a very underrated cream in my opinion. One of the best smelling creams out there. Cream soap, I don't even know. Tiki Volcano. Haven't seen a lot of people talk about it. Oh, it smells wonderful. Kind of, for me, kind of gives me that um, Japanese yuzu type scent, which I think is... Uh, excellent i really like it a lot and this is a very good cream that again i don't see very many people talking about but perhaps they should because it's a good one i don't know if it was a special thing or if it's part of her regular lineup or not but if it's not it should be thanks to everyone for all the uh well wishes and merry christmases merry christmas and happy new year to all of you especially if i missed anyone i'm not going to name you because if i did I most assuredly would miss someone, and I don't want to do that. So, let's wet the face and get going. All right. So, this year, it's been quite a year for me. As far as, you know, family goes, I had my father-in-law pass from ALS in October. Then about a week or two later, my brother-in-law's father passed away from cancer. And my uncle, my mother's brother, has leukemia. He's been battling cancer for several years and he's not doing well. And then um, last week, my aunt was diagnosed with lung cancer. I think it's stage four, if I'm not mistaken. So 2015 was a rough year family wise, and let's hope 2016 is better in terms of health for everyone, you guys included, of course. You know, that is part of life, unfortunately. Um, now, a lot of people always ask when someone gets lung cancer, was my aunt a smoker? Yes, she was. And you can make whatever judgment you want from that. The bottom line is, she has cancer. And it's not good. And it's inoperable. So, not much you can do in that sort of situation. Sorry, I got that shower running there. I was cleaning a little bit and didn't get it quite cut off. So if you're hearing it between passes, I'll make sure it gets turned off. Anyway, tough year on the health front for family members for me. And I hope you guys have fared better. You know, every day that you're living and breathing is a good day. You know, we oftentimes, myself included, focus on the negative and how idiotic people are and all the trouble we have, but truth be told, every day living and breathing is a good day. So always keep that in mind. All right, let's rinse the face and come back. We'll pass two. All right, so let's reapply. The soap or cream was wonderful. If it is a soap, it's very soft like a cream and it smells great. If you like Shambhala or Ruby Red from Tim's or something like that, or um, the Soap Commander, I want to say Inspiration, but I could be wrong. I think it's got that Yuzu Japanese. You probably like this. This is very good stuff. And it hits the spot for me. Oh, yeah. Saw a lot of, I didn't have time to be on Facebook much over the last, you know, week Plus, but I did catch, you know, some of the Christmas pictures and Peter Charcalis on the uh, 
I don't know if you call it a hoverboard, Segway, whatever. Stay off of it, Pete. You're going to break something. Trust me. I got sense enough to know better. <laughs> um, I'm not that old, but, you know, when you get in your mid-40s, it's time to you start thinking about, you know, you're definitely not 60, but you also have to think about if you get a even a sprain. It's tougher to recover from than when you're 20. So, Pete, who I think is a little older than that, stay off of it. I'm telling you. Because sooner or later, we're going to see a video from Pete Charkellis where he's got something wrapped or broken. <laughs> Don't do it. With age comes wisdom. We're supposed to. So, Pete, use your wisdom. And don't worry, people are not going to think you're any less cool because you can't get on the Segway or hoverboard or whatever that is. I hope you didn't get the kind from China that Amazon stopped selling. I'm sure Pete didn't. He's, he's got pretty good taste, and I'm sure he got a one that the battery doesn't burn the dog on house down. Amazon stopped selling a lot of them a few weeks back because they were catching on fire and blowing up and everything else. So I don't know. What are you going to do? So rinse the face, come back for past three. So a lot of people enjoy when I do my little retro man-esque rants. And, you know, I got some material, <laughs> of course. But um, I guess the one thing that comes to mind after driving, you know, 11 hours twice, you know, on the way down and back from Mississippi, is people who drive slow in the left-hand lane. And I'm not talking about meaning you want to go 90 and a 70 and they're going 75. I mean not even going 70 and staying in the left-hand lane. Not allowing people to pass. And they're going under the speed limit. And apologize to you folks from Ohio, but you guys are the biggest offenders by far. I used to drive um, 120 miles a day round trip. So my commute was, uh, well, about 60 miles one way on Interstate 77. And it was constant with the Ohio people. And again, no knock on you Ohio people. Um, you got it bad enough already. You got the Browns. You got the Bengals. I mean, I know you got it rough. But stay out of the damn left-hand lane. You know, that is for passing, swift moving traffic, or otherwise designated by the traffic signs. Do not be in that left lane when you're going 65 and a 70. And again, I'm not advocating uh, speeding. I'm just saying if you're going to be going slower, the right is the place to be. Um, because I'm not a particularly fast driver myself. I'll take somewhere between... 5 and 10 miles an hour, which is the normally forgiven um, amount for most places. Now, there are little towns where they'll bust you for even going 2 or 3 of the speed limit. But generally speaking, somewhere between 5 and 10, you're usually okay in terms of getting a ticket over. But once you get beyond 10, you're in the red zone. You are going to, if it pops up on the radar, you're over 10. You may not get a ticket, but you very well may get pulled over. And so try to keep it, in my opinion, under 10. Um, in some places, more than 5 is too much. So 5 is usually safe universally, except for the little speed traps. And so that's what I try to do. So I'm not a speed demon by any stretch. I mean, I, I can't tell you the number of times that somebody passes me, you know, and they're and then we end up at the same stoplight. You know, they're in such a big hurry. So, you know, realistically, slow down. But you Ohio people and other offenders, get out of the damn left-hand lane. You don't have no business staying there. All right. Rinse the face. Come back for the post. All right. All right. So we're back. And you know what time it is. Got to have it. It's well worth six, seven dollars. I don't know. Eight. Whatever it is, it's well worth it for me. It does have a purpose just beyond you know, making you feel good. Sorry for reaching over you. 
Your little high people made me cut my lip. I was yapping and I just drug it across there and slightly nicked my lip. But you know, rusty, it happens. Look at how much wet my shirt is. Messy. Anyway, let's continue on with the aftershave. This is the inspector, David Fern Cole, has probably killed three bottles of this stuff. And there's my. Of course, I switch out aftershaves most every day, but I really like this one a lot. It is a fine smelling aftershave and in honor of David Vernico, let's go for another round. I use about, you know, just slap it in my hands and let it rip. David Vernico must, you know, do one of these numbers. I'm gonna put the cap on. Kind of <laughs> pour it that way. But he's a good man nonetheless. All right, the razor, by the way, again, one of my favorite. Razor Rock Black Mamba. I was talking to Joe there a few weeks ago about, you know, razors. I don't know what he'll make, when he'll make it, but I'm sure he'll do something. I think, you know, there's so much heat and aggravation for those guys when they make something. People are mad because there's not enough. People are mad because it's not too mild. It's almost you can't win. It's, you know, it's just like you try to do something, um, give people options and you know, inevitably they balk at it. Or some people saying it, say it, it's a copy of this or that. <clears throat> you know, ridiculous. I like options. And for me, I won't mess around with any vendors that balk at, you know, competition and want to complain. And so you'll notice things missing from my den. Uh, if they have bad behavior when it comes to competition, they are out. End of story. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys have a great time uh, today. It's Sunday. Don't know the date and don't care, but have a great day and have some gracious.